Hello there, welcome back to The Closet Historian. Today I have another thrift haul to share with all of you. This one's a little bit different because I actually went thrifting on my birthday this past month. So I've been thrifting another time in between. I have more things to show you, is what I mean to say, but these are the things that I found when I was out thrifting on my birthday. These are the things I found while using my birthday luck, as it were, and I did find quite a few things that I'm really excited about. So let's jump in and I'll show you what I got. The first item I have to show you is a a little bit scandalous. We'll see if I end up using the modeling clip for this because not sure how scandalous that will come out. Uh, it might be too scandalous for the internet, but we'll see. This is just a long full length black robe in a sort of nylon and like nylon lace little lingerie robe. Um, I don't know if this is supposed to be like sexy or anything, but I'm just using it for ha throwing on when I'm doing my hair and makeup. Usually uh, when I have like my pajamas on, I usually sleep in like oversized Star Wars t-shirts. Um, so that's, you know, scandalous detail for the Cosmo article. Oversized Star Wars t-shirts. Uh, but I usually will get makeup or ruin my hair on those if I try and pull them off after I do my hair and makeup. So I want something to wear while doing my hair and makeup that is like a crossover, like little wrap style that's easy. So I won't ruin my t-shirt with my makeup or ruin my makeup and hair by taking a t-shirt off. So it's nice to have little things like this to wear while I'm getting ready. And I was happy to pick up another one. I think this is around $4.50 or $4.99 or something like that. That's how much this one was. So I was happy to find it and pick it up. The second item I have to show you all is something quite familiar here on my channel. It is a silk safari blouse. That's right. This one is almost a buttery, light, beigey ivory. It's It looks a little bit lighter on camera, I think, than it is in real life. It has a sort of warmer, buttery, yellow kind of tone to it, which is nice because it's a color I don't have and lets me feel justified in owning this one too, even though, as we know, I have so many of this style of blouse. But it is nice when it comes to silk blouses like this. I use th I wear them so often, and when it comes to the summertime, you know, usually you're sweating, and you might want to have another one on hand so you don't have to be doing your hand washing or dry cleaning so quickly with the turnover. So it's nice to have multiples of something that you really get a lot of wear out and uh, wear out of and like. So I was happy to pick up this one up. Let's see how much this one was. I have my tags here. And this one was $3.99, which I always think is a great sort of price for a 100% silk blouse. This one is from Silk Encounter, whoever they are, um, and is 100% silk. This one was in a size medium. I don't really look at sizes when I am thrifting. Um, obviously, I, I can't like really usually find anything in the extra small or the extra extra large, but I will look in the size mediums through size extra large to find things for myself because, you know, sometimes a medium will work. Sometimes I need a large. Sometimes an extra large is just oversized enough and it fit me well over the bust. So because a lot of 80s and 90s clothes were cut oversized, like with a lot of ease built into the cut, sometimes I can wear a medium. And I mean, I, on average, I think I'm a large um, or like in between large and extra large, but I look through everything at the thrift store because you just never know if something's gonna be sorted incorrectly or something that was made quite oversized to begin with so it may fit you. So that's another tip for the thrift store is look through all the different sizes really. Um, I, I usually look through everything because I feel like that's the best system for hunting for me. But you know, you, you must have your own thrifting methods and I understand. The next item I have to show you is this printed rayon top in shades of teal and blue and mostly olive green, a little bit of purple. I really love the colors. They're not very necessarily mid-century appropriate colors, but of course I will style this in a mid-century way still. Here I'm showing it with a circle skirt, just so you can see how that looks, but I also will just tie this up with some high-waisted jeans. I like that I could wear this with black jeans because I do um, have a pair of high-waisted black jeans that I like wearing, but I don't, a lot of my shirts have navy in them instead of black, so I like this one's accent color here. It was black, so I could wear it with either black or like regular mid-weight uh, or mid-color denim. So I like I could wear with this with many different colors. And uh, it's a little, I don't know, at first I thought like, is this too like weird uncle again? But as we know on this channel, I love a dad shirt. I like a weird uncle shirt. So this is another one that I added to my wardrobe and I'm excited to be able to just throw this on with either jeans or one of my circle skirts for when I'm just running out to go grab a zipper at Joann's or whatever. I think this is a good, um, it seems more elevated than it is. It's just as comfortable as a t-shirt. Um, it's just as breathable and nice in the summertime to have a rayon shirt like this. And yet it looks a little bit more polished. So always happy to pick another one of these up. This one was $3.99 by the way. So another little bargain, um, a great deal for a top I will get a lot of use out of. And what is this? Oh my goodness, that's right. I finally found some like acid wash-ish blue thick denim, high-waisted mom jeans. And these are these are high-waisted, my friends. They're super high-waisted. It's amazing. These ones actually are from Bill Blass and they are a, I'm not even sure what size they are, a size 12 from Bill Blass. And they are, again, super high-waisted. They kind of have that like 
almost acid look, brighter blue washed denim. They are a little bit faded at the knees as well. Great little length with a little cuff, super thick denim. And they actually, the way these are cut, it's very like flattening over the front stomach area, which is kind of nice, but not as comfortable as um, my other pair of black mom jeans, for example. The funny thing about buying thick, real denim jeans like this is when you try them on at the thrift store, because unfortunately they usually haven't been washed, you know, recently they're all like worn in and quite soft and nice. So they fit perfectly at the store and then you get them home, do a nice wash on them because they're from the thrift store. Um, but then of course, after you wash denim, they're nice and tight again. <laughs> so I have to wear these around the house a little bit to make them form back to my body again, a little bit softer again. But I am so, so happy to finally have proper high-waisted light wash denim mom jeans like this. I plan on styling them in a more pinup-y way and in a more 80s way as well. That's like a casual look that I quite like. So I'm just super jazzed to have finally found these. I have been looking for almost a year for denim mom jeans and I finally found this pair and actually another pair that I'll show you in a separate thrift haul soon. But these ones I, these ones are the ones I found on my birthday. So these are the ones we're talking about today and I'm super happy to have them. These jeans were $5.99 by the way. So uh, it was a bit odd to be paying full price because usually I go on Saturdays, which at ARC is the half price tag day, usually at least in Denver it is. Um, so it was a bit us unusually paying the full ticket price for items, but I still think $6 is a great deal for these jeans. I had almost given up on finding mom jeans out in the wild of thrifting. Um, and I had started looking at a couple of pairs from like places like Everlane or other sustainable brands. And usually those are anywhere from 75 to hundred plus dollars. So six bucks is a great deal in my opinion. Next, I picked up this long floral midi skirt. It's a little bit long on me, but I always say I'll hem these and then I never do, but I was really happy to find one in a um, black based floral. I always like a back black background floral. And this one has these red flowers that are neither roses nor hibiscus, which is what I thought they were at first. And so what's nice about that is that it's not too tropical and it's not too fall. So I think I can wear it for both summer into fall, which is nice. And of course this can be paired with black, with red, with white, with um, olive or ivory. So this is gonna be very versatile in my wardrobe. I always like black and red together, especially for retro-ish looks because it goes so well with red lipstick, of course. Um, so this is a very comfortable, breezy rayon skirt. I'm excited to wear it this summer and into fall as well. Oh, and this one was $4.99. This next skirt is a little bit big on me. Um, I grabbed it to try on and I just, I think the elastic basically is just stretched out um, is what happened with this one. And I got it anyway, because after I did that thrift flip video, I'll put a card up to that. Many of you um, really liked that I did that video. So I guess I will be thr trying to thrift flip a little bit more. Um, but basically all I'll be doing to this one is taking in the waist just cause it is a little bit big. I, would rather take in the waist and put a zipper in than replace this elastic just because I prefer a waistband sort of waist to a elastic waist anyway. So I'll be fixing this one up a little bit. It's just got a great flare. It's a, a gourd skirt, which gives it this little bit of flare here at the bottom. I thought it was a very 30s look. Could look good with an ivory blouse or with a black one or if I could find a nice green. So uh, I'm excited about this, adding a new project to my thrift flipping pile. As I said in that video, I'm not the biggest fan of flipping or fixing but uh, because it does so well here on YouTube, full transparency, uh, I'm allowing myself to buy a few more flippable things because I'll be forced, I, first of all, because I won't let them sit here forever because it is a good video idea. So that kind of helps me move these things that otherwise might sit in my sewing room for a long time. That's usually what happens with fixes for me is that I say I'll fix them and they never do. And so then I just learned to stop buying them. But now that I have a reason to flip and fix things, uh, hopefully I'll do better at that. So I did get this one with a thrift, flip in mind. So if you liked that video, another one will eventually be coming once I find a few more things to fix. And this one again was $4.99 as well. The next item I picked up were these black silk shorts. Um, you can't really see them here. I'll just show you the modeling clip. Um, but these are a pleated front little silk short with a little bit of elastic at the sides. I really like this silk. It's like almost a herringbone or a silk twill fabric. And uh, they're very, very comfortable. But I do think they are a little bit long. Uh, I was thinking they would look quite like 50s at this length, but I really just think proportionally on my legs, it would look better if they were a little shorter. So this is yet another one that will be going into a future thrift fix video where I will hem these up a little bit because they're just a little long on me. I don't mind them. I wore them out like this. I actually wore these to go see the Lion King with my friend the other day. Um, but I think they would just look a little bit better if they were a little bit shorter. So I will be fixing these up just a little bit. Let me see, these ones were $3.99. So for $4, you know, even if I mess them up, it's not too bad of a fail. 
Um, but they're super, they fit really well otherwise, and they are super comfortable. So I'm not usually one for shorts, but I've really been leaning into my, I guess, giving up on my insecurity surrounding shorts and just deciding that I don't care about, I don't know, like, for some reason I was, like, thinking that I had terrible legs or something. I don't know. I don't, I try and avoid negative self-talk in general now. And now that I've reached that place, I'm like, oh, I guess I can wear shorts now that I'm not mean to myself. So I started buying shorts and I was happy to pick these ones up. Now, this next item... I'm super, super excited about these pants. I kind of couldn't believe it when I pulled them off the rack. I was like, are those going to fit me? Because they're kind of amazing. I've been looking at the Vivian of Holloway, um, like little black cigarette pant-ish, sort of 50s, 60s pants for a while. Because I used to have a pair, but they're too big. And so I, like, I ended up donating them because they just didn't fit me anymore. And I do want another pair, but they're quite expensive. And shipping from the UK is expensive. Uh, but I found these pants, which look quite similar. They just look like a black hole here on the camera. But... They are really cool because they have, uh, they're high-waisted, like darted black pant. They're full length on me. They have a little split at the cuff, which is like kind of, I think, how the Vivian Holloway ones are too. But they, and they um, have a side zipper here, a side invisible zipper. But they have this black thread embroidery, like floral embroidery on them as well. I'll try and get a close-up of that where it's not like blown out or, you know, the lighting is better. And they have also black embroidery around the cuffs as well. And they're just like so... 50s to me. I'm so happy to have found these pants. I can't believe how well they fit. I was super excited to find them. Um, let me see. They were $6.99, so $7. Kind of more of an expensive piece. The, probably the most expensive clothing piece I bought that day. But I was just so happy. Like, the birthday luck was on my side when it came to this. I found mom jeans and these pants. So it was such a good pants day for me at the thrift store. And I just adore these. I can't wait to wear them in, like, super pinupy outfits. Um, I don't often do more pinupy looks, but... When I do, I think uh, these are going to be such a great option for me and such a great um, comfortable option in my closet for when I want to still look quite retro but do not want to maybe get all dolled up completely. So I uh, am super excited about these pants. I'm just so jazzed about them. Ugh, I love them. Oh, my foot is asleep. I have really bad circulation, you guys, and my foot is asleep. Another top I picked up was this simple little black cotton peasant tee blouse with like little gathered sleeves and then just shearing or like gathering up here at the neckline with the red and yellow stitching. I thought this would look great with a black circle skirt as I show it here, styled here. Um, also with a black pencil skirt or, you know, red skirts, uh, lots of different things. Such a versatile piece in this black color. I didn't have a black peasant blouse before, so I'm happy to have picked this one up. I don't seem to have the tag around here anymore, but I'm sure it was under $5. So a good basic for my summer wardrobe as well. And speaking of basics, I also picked up this white linen top. It's just a white linen button down from Elements, and this actually still had the tag on it um, from Macy's. So it's from Macy's apparently, and it's brand new. It's just a white linen shirt with some double end darts and a little bit of detailing here on the front. Again, this is so classic. You can pair this with anything. I paired it with these black pants. You can pair it with jeans. You can pair it with skirts. This just matches literally almost almost anything. Um, you can pair this with like a more formal skirt for evening, I think is a fun like mix of casual and formal too. And then of course you can dress this completely down with like a pair of shorts or jeans. And uh, you just can't go wrong with a shirt like this. I think this one was $8 or something. It was quite expensive um, for the thrift store or at least for my thrift store. But it was such a classic piece and a really nice quality weighty linen that I just really wanted to add it to my wardrobe, especially because I have mostly ivory and not white like this. So I wanted another option for when I needed a bright white shirt as opposed to an ivory or more of like a khaki kind of color because I have a lot of those. I have a lot of safari blouses as we know. So I wanted a better stark white option and I was really happy to find this even if it was a little, a little bit on the pricier side. And the last clothing item I have to show you guys today is this Anne Klein huge oversized silk shirt. Again in our dad shirt category although this was a in the women's department so you know it's still technically a women's shirt I think. This one is a size 14 and is 100% silk, but it has this really fun like postcard travel print. The only thing that bothers me about it is that the background seems to be like a navy and then the print on the postcards is black. Um, so I don't know if this is like supposed to be black, but they're just two different colors of black. But I guess that means I can wear it with both navy and black, right? Something like that. So uh, I really like this travel themed print, obviously, and these are colors that I like and I wear. And I always love a silk blouse. It has like almost turn of the century sort of postcards on it. So that's kind of fun. And again, it's so oversized. I just tied it big with a big tie in the front with both jeans and with a navy twill skirt. I think this is a super easy breezy top to throw on in the summertime if I don't want to feel like, you know, too buttoned up again. It's very casual and, you know, 
comfortable with this oversized silk. Again, I don't seem to have the tag for this one anymore, but I think this one was around $5, probably $4.99 again. That's usually what I'm paying for blouses at the store. It's only you know, an exception that linen blouse is a little bit more expensive, but that's usually an exception, not the rule. This is something that I think I, in the past I may have passed up, but seeing that it was 100% silk and I kind of liked the travel, kitschy travel print, I did pick it up off the rack and I ended up really liking it. So something like this that again, is very much like a shirt your dad or your grandfather would wear. Give it a try though. You might be surprised how much you like it. I did pick up two accessories on this day as well. I got these 80s uh, earrings here. These were $1.99. I haven't even taken them out of the little bag from the Ark yet, but they are these clip-on, you, you can't really see them. I'll do a close-up as well. Clip-on metal earrings. They're like these huge 80s, some sort of like base metal earring. Um, but I just really liked the very Art Deco 80s shape and seafoam green color. I thought it was a fun combination. I always like art deco things and I quite like 80s like synthy things and so this was a good combination of the two for me and for $1.99 I thought I would spring for them. The other accessory I picked up was this little silk scarf. This one is actually from Banana Republic originally but it has these little sort of travel-y scenes and like the Colosseum and little Vespas and carts and things because it's a Rome themed print. It says Rome on here in a couple of places, but just a little, little scarf. You know how I can't avoid them when I'm at the thrift store. I always look through the scarves and this is just the one I picked up that particular day. I think to me, it looks quite 60s. I've seen a lot of 60s scarves in the same kind of color scheme. So I picked it up for, I think I picked it up for $2.99. So always happy to add yet another scarf to my collection. I'm going to have to start another drawer for them though, because my scarf drawer is quite full. And the last item I found out thrifting on my birthday, the universe gave me this this gift here. Now this, you're thinking, yeah, that's a clear vase. But it's a, it's a Lalique vase, um, which is kind of crazy. It does still have the Lalique sticker on the inside and it does say Lalique France on the bottom. Um, but this is a pressed glass vase, I assume, from the 1980s actually. This is a 1950s design that was reissued in 1985 from all I can tell on the internet. It has these gorgeous little like puffy fat little birds on the side and they are super cute and then natural like vines motif in the background. I love like Art Nouveau glassware and Lalique. I've always loved uh, Lalique jewelry quite a lot as well and I'm a big fan of like Antiques Roadshow because I'm a grandmother. Um, so I, I've heard a lot about Lalique over the years on that show and just by researching them for my own projects and things like that. So to find a piece of Lalique, even a later piece, even a damaged piece because this does have a tiny, tiny little nick out of the rim. I still was like super excited to find a Lalique out there in the wild. This piece seems to be worth anywhere from around $200 to $800, depending on which auction website you're looking at online. So the value isn't like astronomical or crazy or anything, especially because it's again, later and damaged. But I was just so happy to find a piece of real Lalique out in the wild for $5.99 and put it in my cart. That was the first thing I found when I got to the thrift store. And I was like, wow, my birthday luck is here today. So when I found the rest of these things, I was happy, but I started with this and was pretty ecstatic. So that was my biggest find of the day, I think, was this gorgeous little Lalique vase. So those were the items I picked up thrifting out on my birthday this last month. I also um, have gone thrifting again since then. I have more things to show you. It's just a matter of time here, but I wanted to show you all the things I picked up on in my birthday um, as one because it was such a good day thrifting. And it's almost like a little capsule wardrobe, this stuff all together. I could definitely mix and match a lot of these items together. So I was really happy to pick up all of these things and add them to my wardrobe. And of course that Lalique was a very nice surprise from the thrifting gods, um, whatever the thrifting gods are, whoever the patron state of thrifting is, they helped me out that day and I do really appreciate it. But thank you as always for tuning in today and I'll see you again soon. Bye.